Bra, bra, bra. Do you even lift? Bra. What's good, guys, though? I am coming at you with another heteronormative video in my Dating Diaries series. I know, how mainstream of me. He was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Nope. Okay, but basically you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm sure you can probably see <laughs> uh, that I've been weightlifting. And the program that I've been weightlifting with is called Body Beast. And don't worry, I'm not trying to convert you guys into drinking protein shakes and hanging out by the dumbbells at your local gym. Uh, <laughs> but the interesting thing about these guys in the program is that they're all like these bro gym rats. You know what I mean? Just like super hulks. And sometimes, you know, the main bro, sometimes he will insult the other guys by calling them ladies or, you know, Barbies. Which, I mean, how disgusting that he uses the word ladies as an insult, right? Uh, but basically, I'm just giving you this example so that you can see what I mean when I tell you that this dude, he is like the spitting image of what most Americans would consider an alpha male, right? He's at the top of the social hierarchy, he's aggressive, he's dominant, I mean, he's strong, right? Like, even his muscles have muscles that strong. And because you know we're about to dive into a full-on analysis of alpha versus beta, let's also contrast with what a stereotypical beta looks like. So where alphas are held up in American culture is like, whoop whoop, and a can of fruit. Basically, betas are more like weak, submissive, sensitive, AKA Mr. Nice Guy. No, but really, so I make light of it, but really somehow our culture has convinced guys that if they're somehow the nice guy, then that's synonymous with being a beta or a pushover. And if they are that way, then girls won't like them, right? So I was on this YouTube channel the other day where this guy literally said, he literally said it, literally, I can't even, it's not even figuratively, I didn't even make it up. He literally said that if you ignore a girl and see other girls, her interest in you will increase. He literally said that, guys. Nah. I think a part of me just died. And he was kind of preaching what he thought was an alpha mindset. But I wanna suggest that that approach, right, that stereotypically alpha approach, will likely only work on stereotypically beta women who have not yet dealt with their fear that they're not enough, right? And so they're out there seeking the external validation of men, right? Because women who are aware of their worth will not let anybody, male or female, or anything in between, treat them in a way that does not align with their worth. Did you feel? So that alpha approach is only gonna work on beta women who cling more when you pull away more. I mean, and I, I'm making a few jumps here, but let, let, let's go along this train of thought. It's likely to result in partnerships where the man is a little domineering and the woman is not as likely to challenge him to challenge him emotionally, to challenge him to be a better person. So these guys end up feeling like kings of their castles, but really their castles are built on foundations of mediocrity. Do you even lift? Brah. Brah. Or another way of saying this is that the alphas end up becoming the betas, or just betas in general. They don't become the betas, but the really, the, there's something better than alpha out there and we all know it, so let's try and find it. But here's where the plot thickens. I was reading and I saw these stats on, I think it was Statistica, that said women make up 57% of college graduates in the US, whereas men make up 43%. Ho 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 ho, and fun fact, that gap is expected to slightly increase, folks. Do you know what happens as women become more educated? Do you know, do you know? I know, I know, been there, done that. Uh, okay, they tend to value themselves more. And you know what they value less? The stereotypical treatment from stereotypical alpha males. Oh! Toxic masculinity exit stage left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Cause we don't want no scrubs. All right, but plot twist. The interesting thing about these types of women is they don't really like beta males 
either. All right, so in this brave new world where we have this new generation of women who don't like alphas and plot twist, don't like betas, uh, what, 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 what do women want? What do they want? I think what this new breed of women wants, you know, speaking for all of them on their behalf, uh, <laughs> I think what they want is kind of a mix of the two, right? Like a balfa or an Elta. We'll work on the naming. So in this research study done by Jerry Berger and Mika Cosby, they basically asked women like, do you want dominant men or do you want non-dominant men? And most of the women are like, we want dominant men. Well, they, they didn't ask them that directly. They kind of asked them through this whole like questionnaire about a tennis player, blah, 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 details. That's basically the alpha versus beta argument, right? And in this context, women want alphas. But when you dive a little bit deeper into it, it gets more interesting. Just so I don't mess this up, they basically found that women liked certain elements of dominant traits and certain elements of non-dominant traits. 74% of women want a confident man. 36% want an assertive man. But only 12% want an aggressive one. Only 2% want a dominant one. And only 0%, that means none of us, want a demanding one. But when you ask us about non-dominant traits that we really liked, listen to this. Mm -mm. 76% of women said they wanted a sensitive man. And 64% said they wanted an easygoing guy. Only 2% said they wanted quiet, 0% said they wanted shy, and 0% said they wanted submissive. So essentially, the true new alpha, right, who top women are looking for, is not only assertive and confident, but is also sensitive and easygoing. Think Obama. Right? Think John Legend. Basically think any man who goes after his dreams and asserts his boundaries, but does so in a respectful way. Right? Or any man who treats his partner as his equal counterpart. Right? And not like an object. And you guys, so many women and so many more women are starting to crave this new brand of man that just like doesn't exist in large enough quantities. And unfortunately, you know, the biggest obstacle to filling this gap in the marketplace is essentially that men have been bullied out of being their nice emotional selves, uh, basically by messages their entire lives that say things like, oh, boo hoo, suck it up, real men don't cry. And I get it, men, right? Like conditioning is super hard. Uh, but that being said, boo hoo, suck it up, learn how to cry. <laughs> No, but honestly, you guys, openness, honesty, vulnerability, that's kind of the new hot. Get in touch with your feminine side, and you'll probably get a touch. A feminine side. <laughs> and this has been a public service announcement for what Taylor Renault is looking for in a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to get more videos just like this and do not forget to check out all my videos. They're all amazing. Bye.